There is an infinite wire grid with cells in the form of equilateral triangles. The resistance of each wire between neighboring joint connections is R0. The resistance of the whole grid between the points A and B as shown in the figure is. Once observe the given figure, it is infinite wire grid. The cells in the form of equilateral triangles. These two points A and B. The resistance in between these two points is R0. At the same time, the resistance between any two joint connections is also R0. That means, resistance in between these two points also R0. We have to find out the total resistance of this grid in between the points A and B. Okay, let us suppose a wire is connected to point A. And I current is passing through this wire. This current enters into the point A. And this current leaves from the point A through six different paths. Along this direction. So like this totally six paths available to leave the current from point A. Here resistance is the same. So, current is divided equally in all six directions. The current passing from A to B along this direction current is I by 6. Along this direction also current is I by 6. So, it divides into equal parts along each direction current is I by 6. In same way, take point B. Maybe for the point B also we connected A by and I current entering into this point. Here also the current leaving from point B in how many directions? Same six directions. And along each direction current is I by 6. So okay, now these two points connected by using a battery. I current enters into the point A and the current leaves from point B. Now what is the current in between A and B? In between A and B, IAB is I by 6 plus I by 6. That is equals to 2I by 6 equals to I by 3. So the total current in between A and B is I by 3. And resistance in between A and B is are not. Let us take the resistance of the remaining grid is R. Here potential difference is constant. The potential difference in between A and B. V A B is equals to current I by 3 and resistance is R not. So, the potential difference in between A and B points is I by 3 into R0. The current through the remaining circuit is equals to total current I minus current in between A and B that is I by 3. That is equals to 3I minus I, 2I by 3 and our assumption resistance is R. So, potential of the remaining circuit V is equals to current 2I by 3 into resistance R. So, here potential difference is same. So, take V A B is equals to V. In place of V A B, I by 3 into R naught and V is equals to 2I by 3 into R. On both sides I get cancelled, 3 also get cancelled. So R0 is equals to 2R and R is equals to R0 by 2. So resistance of the remaining grid circuit is R0 by 2. Okay, now resistance in between A and B is R0 and resistance of the remaining circuit is R0 by 2. So, total resistance of the grid circuit in between A and B points is R is equals to 
R not into R not by two by R not plus R not by two. These two are in parallel. R not square by two into two by three R not. Here two two get cancelled. One R not also get cancelled. That is equals to R not by three. So equivalent resistance of the given grid circuit in between points A and B is R not by three. Second option is correct.